Hi there, it's Dave Hepworth from Computer World. I'm here today to tell you about how easy it is to create a guest access network on the Ruckus Unleashed controllerless platform. So in our previous videos, we've been looking at different Ruckus wireless products and different Ruckus controllers. We've covered the virtual smart zone, the physical smart zone, and also the controller solution by Ruckus Unleashed. So a lot of our customers ask us how easy is it to control or manage or configure a guest access network. And with Ruckus Unleashed, it's really simple. So if you're a small to medium sized business who's looking to give guest access services or staff guest access on a, on a separate VLAN or on a separate network because you want to keep it a little bit more secure, then it's really easy to do on this easy and simple to manage controllerless platform from Ruckus Wireless. So we'll just show you how easy it is to actually create that guest access network. So all we need to do is create new on the left hand side and then we call it guest access office. So we pretend this is for guest access for office staff. And then we create guest access. Now bear in mind this is literally a default setting. So we haven't created any guest access services on the guest on the services tab that we saw previously on the dashboard. We're just going straight in to try and create a WLAN. So if we create guest access, you'll notice we'll get a, a message from unleashedruckuswireless.com saying there is no available guest access service, please configure guest access service first. That's okay, we'll just click okay, and then straight away it gives us a guest access service to create. Because as you'll notice, there isn't any, so we'll just create one straight from here, so we don't have to click through lots of different click, uh, buttons to get to the guest access service, which I think is really nice and easy. So we create this, so we're going to create a guest access service, so we call this guest office. So we'll make it nice and easy and we'll just call it guest office. With regards to the onboarding portal and zero IT, we'll come back to that on another video. There is no need for us to create that at the minute. We're not using zero IT. All we're going to create is a nice, easy SSID that we can have guest users or staff on a separate network connect to. They'll land on an SSID, a page will open up asking for a guest pass, they enter the guest pass and they'll be redirected to their URL of choice or redirected to our company website. So all we're going to do is we click on authentication and say, yep, we want to use guest pass authentication. We want to show terms of use, and we can do that quite easily. And you can customize your terms of use here if you wish. But for now, we'll just leave the default terms of use from Ruckus Wireless. Then when it comes to redirection, so once they've actually verified who they are, who they say they are by giving a guest pass on an individual basis or on a group basis, we can then say we can redirect them to the URL that they intended to visit. Or what we tend to like to do here at Computer World is redirect them to the companies who we're working with's website. So in this example, we would do it to Computer World. So we're almost there. With regards to customization, at this point, if we wanted to, we could put the company logo, or you could just leave it standard coming up with the Ruckus branding. And we can also change the welcome guest access login page. We can also change the restricted subnet access. So guest users are automatically blocked from the subnets to which Unleashes and its managed APs are connected. But if there are other subnets you want to block or allow guest users into, then you can create different rules here. On advanced options, you'll notice we can start getting a little bit more detail about applications, protocols, destination ports, and so on. But we'll just leave it by default and we'll go back to general and that's pretty much it. We've created a guest access service. So we'll select OK. And at that point, the guest access service has been created. So we're almost there. We even want to show advanced options. If we want to make sure that the SSID that we created for the guest network is in a separate VLAN or a ring fence VLAN, which maybe just goes out to a different ADSL line or a different internet connection, then this is where we would change the access VLAN. Uh, by default, we'll go on one or the, or the native or tagged, uh, untagged VLAN. Uh, for access control, if you've created any access controls previously with the available options, we can do that here. If we want to uplink or rate limit the uplink or downlink, we can do that here. And if we want to create any access control layer tool device policy, we can do that here. And again, it's really nice and easy. If we wanted to create new, just cl click create new and a window will open up and you can start creating MAC address blocks. Or if you want to create a new device policy, just click create new and you can create a new device policy. It's really nice and simple. And if you wanted to do an app application visibility, you can. And then again, just create new and we can set it up from the window. So it's really nice and simple. Radio control, again, we tend to leave it on the standard default settings with Ruckus Wireless and their background scanning and their load balancing and band balancing, which are all enabled by default. Uh, and then we can also enable different uh, FT roaming or uh, AHG.11K neighbor list report. But for, to be honest, I would leave it just as standard. And on the others, we can make it so we might be able to do forced DHCP in the activity timeouts, and also more importantly, wireless client isolation. So by default, because we created a guest access network, we can isolate wireless client traffic from other clients on the same AP. So we're basically saying, right, you're gonna to connect to the guest network, we're gonna give you internet access, but you're not gonna be able to talk to other devices who are connected to that AP. 
and that's pretty much it. We've gone ahead, we've created a guest access network, we click OK, and then it will ask you, do you want to send an email or SMS to the guest pass to your guests? So instantly, it's so intuitive, it's actually helping you create it. So do you want to send an email or SMS to the guest pass to your guests? You can select yes or no. If you do want to use an email service or an SMS service for when guest passes are created so they can be sent to the users, then you just click yes. At that point, you'd enable your email server, put in the correct details, and you'd be away. Same for SMS settings. If you do have an SMS service with either Twilo or Clickertel, then just enable the SMS service and select the Clickertel or Twilo account you wish to use. Then there's test options you can test. But for now, we just click cancel. And at that point, we've got a guest access service up and running within two to three minutes. And that's it. Really simple. Guest access network configured and running on unleashed Ruckus wireless networks.